Hi and welcome. This is a short video to answer a question by Wagia. Have I pronounced that right? I'm so sorry if it's wrong. On the Bagatelle in C by Beethoven, which is on the ABRSM grade 4 list, it's piece A1. And the question is that in bar 3 and 4 and 7 and 8 especially, how do we keep that smooth legato line, especially when we have repeated notes? Of course, when you're repeating a note, you have to lift it up and then put it back down again if we're repeating it with the same finger. Therefore, there's going to be a slight gap, isn't there? I think that's part of the problem. So let's look at bars three and four. We have a melody on the top line that it is possible to play completely legato. In the left hand, we've got, in our bass part, similarly, that can be complete legato. Let's put those two together. So those lines will be absolutely legato. The right hand has to take a G as well. So let's just practice that. So yes, that has to do the uppy downy thing, slight gap between each note, but the top line is absolutely legato. Let's look at it again. And I also need to play that one a bit louder than that one, if I can. To make the melody come through, let's put the bass line in with that. The left hand has a similar story. It's got to play the F. So let's just take that out of the equation. On the second one, I came off really too soon, didn't I? But you get the idea. That really legato. And hold the thumb as long as we can. One more go. Let's combine the two. So the impression is of legato-ness. <laughs> I would also practice it like this because the tune is at the top. So that is smooth and loud, while the accompaniment is detached and short, just, just for practice. To get the right tone. Could we do the same thing with bringing out the tune at the bottom, the, the bass line? Again, really smooth whilst other things are happening with other fingers. Let's now have a look at bars 7 and 8. It's a similar story, although slightly less complex, I think, because the right hand can play completely legato, except for that little thumb move there. And the left hand, again, the thumb is hopping around, and there's a bit of a hop to go and get that last chord. It wasn't very together there, was it? <laughs> yeah, careful to make sure that, that last octave is together. And I would practice that same same way as before. Tune. Can I keep that tune really legato whilst other things are going on? Good luck with practicing that. I hope that's been helpful. Basically, it's playing legato what it is possible to play legato, whilst the other things, usually the thumb, does its little bit of hopping around in the middle. And take it apart, and then gradually put it back together again. Best of luck. Let me know how you get on. Bye-bye for now.